Hi friends. Today we are going to see how the resistance temperature detector that is RTD works. RTD resistance temperature detector. So this is the very a crucial and important part of process instrumentation. We can say it is one type of transducer which converts a temperature in form of particular resistance. That's why it is known as resistance temperature detector. This is one type of thermometer that is used to measure a temperature and provide it in accordance with the resistance which is directly proportional to the temperature. Mainly this RTD look like this. This is heat. This is R twenty material. We can say resistance material. So, how it works like this resistance material, it can be platinum, which is most probably used platinum because at a low temperature change, it provides an accurate resistance. So, due to accuracy, this platinum is used. So, how it functions? How the temperature leads to the development of resistance. Suppose we consider one metal, when we provide heat to that metal, the molecules in the metal then collapse on each other. Means the wobbling of that molecules increases. And when the heat goes on increasing more and more, the wobbling into the molecules increases more and more. Just like if you can see here, these are the molecules. Like that. And when you are providing heat to it, they will wobble more and more. More and more they will start to wobble. And at one position, when we are passing a current through it, when we are passing a current through it, at that point, that current will feel and resist. Means how much amount of heat is generated, how much amount of heat is given to this metal, that much amount of resistance will develop for the passing of that current. So this is the very basic, basic, basic principle of resistance temperature detector. And on that principle, it generates the resistance which is directly proportional to the that's why it is known as resistance temperature detector. And now a question may arise that why some resistance temperature detectors are known as P T hundred? Why it is known as that? So P T stands for platinum, and why hundred? That is because on a room temperature, on a room temperature, this platinum provides hundred. Means on 0 degree Celsius, it provides 100 ohm resistance. So, this is the reason behind calling it as PT100, which is most probably used in industries instead of thermometers. So, the temperature range for this RTD is up to 660 degree Celsius. 660 degree Celsius. More than that, in case if you want to measure the temperature more than 660 degree Celsius, in that case, this sheet 
will be replaced by a glass tube. So this is done with the introduction to resistance temperature.